good morning students so in the previous class we discussed about the problems of uh, uh, first and second today i am going to teach you the problems of third question see all of you here uh, give four rational numbers equivalent to here we have to write uh, four uh, equivalent uh, rational numbers for this uh, given um, rational number see students all of you here solution first you write this uh, minus 2 by 7 four times because they asked uh, uh, four rational numbers na? so that's why you write this 2 by um, uh, given fractional number two uh, four times okay and now put the into sign for all these and one empty uh, rational number you put here equal sign okay and again one uh, empty here okay so the next step is that here we have to multiply both these uh, deno um, numerator and denom denominator by the same number okay here i accept zero okay except zero and one you may multiply uh, all these number by any any number okay here i took uh, two two here you have to take the same number keep in mind students and here i take three three and here i take four four and here i, I take five five so after that we have to multiply both these uh, numerator and uh, write the answer in the numerator okay uh, 2 2 is a 4 that is a minus 4 14 7 2 is a 14 2 3 is a 6 okay 7 3 is a 21 uh, minus 8 and this is 28 uh, 2 5 is a 10 and 7 5 is a 35 so all these four rational numbers these are the equivalent rational numbers of minus 2 by 7 therefore minus 2 by 7 is equal to minus 4 by 14 and minus 6 by 21 and minus 8 by 28 and minus 10 by 35 so this is the solution for the uh, first problem of uh, third question let me solve the problems of next question students so before going to solve that uh, see here this third question contains total three problems i solved one and remaining two problems they are the homework for all of you okay so let me solve the next questions see the problems of fourth student is all of you here draw the number line and represent the following rational numbers on it here we have to draw one number line and on that number line we have to represent the given rational numbers students all of you listen here first we have to see whether the given rational number whether it is a positive or negative so okay and after that we have to observe that the given rational number whether it is proper or improper or uh, proper or improper okay so first thing is that the given rational number it is a positive and it is a proper fraction sorry it is a proper rational number okay first we have to think both these students keep in mind it is a very very important first thing is that whether the given rational number whether it is a positive or negative and the second thing is that uh, whether it is a proper or improper okay so the given rational number it is a proper and it is a positive rational number okay so positive means students all of you see here sorry so here it is a zero from the right side of zero it contains uh, positive uh, numbers okay to the right side of this uh, zero it contains positive and left side of the left, left side of the, this zero it contains a negative numbers okay so it is a positive means here we have to represent in this direction i mean uh, to the right side of zero we have to represent this okay so how to represent all of his students here he in the given rational number we have to see the uh, denominator number how much it is a uh, four it means here we have to make uh, four here we have to draw four uh, lines so this one don't consider one okay two three and this is a four okay one two three four okay so after that see students here in the in the numerator what is the number three okay one two three it means it is a three by it is a three by four like this students you have to represent okay uh, and here you have to write one students okay so between this is zero and one we uh, uh, represent uh, this uh, given fraction like this students let me repeat one more time 
3 by 4. So first here we will see the denominator number. How much it is a 4? That much. It means here we have to make a 4 parts. Okay. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 like this. Okay. So after that we have to uh, observe this uh, numerator number. It is 3 means 1, 2, 3. Here we have to count the 3 lines and below that we have to write this uh, given rational numbers. Okay. So the next go next move on to the next part of students. All of you see here. So it is a negative rational number and it is a improper. Okay. So it means here we have to convert this uh, uh, improper into proper. Okay. Divide this 7 by 4. Okay. 4 ones are 4. It means 1 integer 3 by 4 comes. Okay, students. And negative means uh, here we in this direction we have to represent this. Okay. And this is a 1 and this is a 2 students. Okay. Okay. This is a 1 and this is a 2. And students, all of you see here, after 1, after 1, we have to represent this 3 by 4 similar to this one. Okay. So, 3 by 4 means uh, in the denominator, how much it is a 4 parts. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. And in the numerator, what is the number is there? It is a 3 okay it means 1 2 3 okay so here we have to represent that uh, given rational number students okay so students all of you here uh, here we have to mention this minus and after that uh, this one we have to mention is a plus and here uh, what is the uh, numerator number here it is a 3 okay 1 2 3 it means this number it is a minus 7 by 4. So these are the solution for the uh, problems of uh, uh, problems of fourth question. Okay. So this fourth question contains total four problems students. I solved two and remaining two problems you have to do in home. They are the homeworks. Okay. Let me solve the next one students. See the problem. Uh, next uh, question students all of you here. The points, the points P Q R S T U, A uh, P Q R S T U A and B on the number line are such that T R is equal to R S, R S is equal to S V, and A P is equal to P Q, P Q is equal to Q P Q Q B. Name the rational numbers represented by P Q R S. Here, we have to find the values of P Q R S understood and here what is the uh, p means what rational number comes q means what which rational number comes okay r means which rational numbers comes here we have to write see the first one students all of you here this p it comes uh, right side of the, this zero it means all these are p and q both these are the positive rational numbers and here s yes and r they comes left side of the zero it means both these are the negative rational numbers okay and after that we here we have to uh, uh, guess uh, guess means which rational numbers comes here we have to think okay see here after 2 after 2 it means after 2 here we have uh, how many uh, numbers uh, how many numbers here students all of you see here let me continue this, uh, continue this problem students all of you see one more time here. Here uh, P here we have to write the values of P Q R S okay. P means it is a positive it is in the side of positive it is uh, in the positive side okay. P means it comes after 2 okay 2 integer okay 2 integer here after 2 we uh, how many lines here we have 1 2 3 okay 1 2 3 that 3 right in the denominator and p it is in which line it is a one line okay 1 2 3 means it is a p it is in a one line okay right here so it is a mixed and here we have to convert this into uh, improper 2 3 is a 6 6 plus 1 7 by 3 understood students let me move on to the next one q okay q also it comes after two number okay and uh, how many uh, lines here we have one two three okay three 
and what is the position of the q here 1 2 okay it means 2 3 is a 6 6 plus 2 8 okay 8 by 3 and so students 7 by 3 8 by 3 so this uh, p represents 7 by 3 and q represents 8 by 3 and similarly see this s and r students all of you see here s r comes it is a s r and both these are the negative rational numbers okay because they comes uh, left side of this zeros okay so this r comes after minus 1 integer okay one integer and here how many lines here here we have one two three okay three here here we have to write three downside okay and what is the position of the r here r comes in which line one line okay this is the one first line second line third line okay so uh, this is the mixed and here we have to convert this into improper one three is a three three plus one four minus four by three okay and r represents minus four by three similarly yes see how much comes it is minus one integer yes means one two okay first how many lines here one two three lines okay and yes comes in which line one two you don't consider this first line students one two okay here we have to write one two and convert this one three is a three three plus two five okay minus 5 by 3 so here uh, s represents minus 5 by 3 let me write all, all these here p represents how much students here p represents minus 4 by 3 and q represents minus 5 by 3 and similarly s represents uh, sorry sorry students sorry P represents 7 by 3 and Q represents 8 by 3 and uh, R represents minus 4 by 3 and S represents minus 4 by 5 by 3. Okay. So, this, uh, this is the solution for the fifth question. Okay. Let me solve the next one students. See the next uh, question students all of you here. Which of the following pairs represent the same rational number? Okay. Students, here we have two methods to solve this one. So, okay. So, first method is that. First method. Okay. Uh, here we have to first write the given rational numbers. Okay. And here we have to do the cross multiplication students like this. Okay. Uh, first one is uh, here. Minus into plus becomes I mean uh, minus 7 into 9. Okay, and next is that uh, uh, Next number that is uh, 21 into 3. Okay, how much comes all of you see here? Minus into plus here we have to do this multiplication of the sign. Okay, minus into plus minus 7 and the 63 Okay, and here both these numbers contain plus sign. Okay, plus into plus how much comes it is a plus okay after multiplying both these we have 63 okay it means minus 63 it is not equal to plus 63 okay here minus 63 is not equal to 63 okay not equal means the given rational numbers they not represent okay appears to represent the same rational number okay so here given given rational numbers given rational numbers given rational numbers numbers not represent the same not represent the same not represent the same okay so this is the first one okay let me solve the second with the students all of you see here uh, 7 by 21 and 3 by 9 here we have to simplify both these okay 7 1 the 7 3 the minus 1 by 3 comes similarly that 3 by 9 and so we have to make the simplification 3 1 the 3 3 the okay how much comes here it is a 1 3 1 by 3 here it is a minus 1 by 3 and here here it is a 1 uh, 1 by 3 okay so it means both these are here minus 1 by 3 is not equal to 1 by 3 so it means the given rational numbers here we have to write the same sentence here so this is the second method students so okay so which one you feel easy you follow that one okay so let me solve the uh, next problem in this uh, question that is uh, minus 5 by 9 minus 
फाइव बाय माइनस नाइन एंड फाइव बाय माइनस नाइन सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू सॉ यूजिंग द फर्स्ट मेथड स्टूडेंट्स ओके मेकिंग द क्रॉस मल्टीफिकेशन माइनस फाइव इंटू माइनस नाइन एंड सिमिलरली फाइव इंटू माइनस नाइन हियर वी हैव टू डू दिस मल्टी क्रॉस मल्टीफिकेशन एंड हियर हियर वी हैव टू डू हियर वी हैव टू डू बो दिस क्रॉस मल्टीफिकेशन एंड हियर ऑल्सो वी हैव टू डू द क्रॉस मल्टीफिकेशन सो मच कम्स ऑल ऑफ इस हियर माइनस इंटू माइनस प्लस फाइव नाइन जो फोर्टी फाइव एंड हियर प्लस इंटू माइनस माइनस फाइव नाइन जो फोर्टी फाइव हियर ऑल्सो द गिवन नंबर दे आर नॉट सेम ओके देर फोर प्लस फोर्टी फाइव इज नॉट इक्वल टू माइनस फोर्टी फाइव देर फोर गिवन रैशनल नंबर्स गिवन रैशनल नंबर्स नॉट रिप्रेजेंट not represent the same so these are the solution for the problems of sixth question students okay so sixth question contains total uh, uh, seven problems i solved two and remaining uh, five problems you have to do you know they are the homeworks okay let me solve the next one See the problems of seven students. All of you here rewrite the following rational numbers in the simplest form. Okay, very easy. All these first you write the given rational number, and here we have to make the simplification. So both the number comes in which table? Two table. Two four is a two three is a. Okay, so minus four by three is the answer. That this much only students. Let me uh, solve another one. Minus forty four by seventy two. Both these are number comes in four table. Okay. Four eleven is a okay. Four four one is a four. Four eighteen is a. So answer is minus eleven by eighteen. So these are the solution for the problems of seventh uh, question. Okay. So seventh question contains total four problems. I solve two and remaining two problems you have to solve them. They are the homeworks. Okay. So I hope all of you understood all the problems. So. So in the next video, I am going to solve the next problems. Thank you. Have a nice day.